Hi guys, today I am going to show you how to clean your Cricut pads. Uh, so I have taken the uh, other pad and I have cleaned it to show you the end result. So this is how it's going to look. Uh, as you can see this one is completely muddy and this one is completely white. Note, the some marks are so dark that uh, and so um, hard that they cannot be removed but it's much better than this one. Uh, so now as you can see in many videos but I have not seen anyone teach how to clean the back parts so uh, I have come up with something and as you can see here uh, this is yellow with mud and sweat but this one I have cleaned it so well and it has become uh, completely white so let's get started so the things you are going to need are um, you can use a sponge or a scotch bright I prefer using a scotch bright so um, you, uh, you can use whatever you want. Uh, you will also need a mug uh, full of water and uh, you can add some uh, washing liquid uh, and keep uh, and mix it and add some washing liquid until the top part is a bit frothy and then take another mug full of plain uh, and clean water. Now let's get started. Uh, I'm going to take uh, my scotch bright or sponge and dip it into soapy water nicely and squeeze it well. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do is, I'm, we'll start with this part. We'll start with the top part here. Uh, I'm not going to press too hard, otherwise it'll damage the pa uh, cricket pad. But just scrub it neatly like, like this. So that you can see all this dust and muck is coming out. Um, uh, just remember to uh, take the tip of your scotch, right? And uh, nicely do um, clean the crevices. Now, just keep um, scrubbing. You can uh, keep cleaning your um, uh, scotch bright so that uh, there is no mud on it. I'm going to just neatly scrub it. Now, um, uh, I'm satisfied with it. So once you're satisfied with all your scrubbing and you think it's enough, you can just put this in your clean water. Okay, and now take your towel. Uh, so you have your towel. Uh, um, you have to keep it on a towel while doing this so that immediately you can just wipe this neatly. Make it bone dry and just crevices also. That's better. Now as you can see the difference between this and this. So if you're still not satisfied, you can always just take it again, dip it and again you can clean it like this until you're satisfied. But for now I'm satisfied with this. So I'm just going to wipe it and move on. So now um, let's go, let's move on to this part. Let's uh, first wash our this um, scotch pad well in the clean water, dip it in the soapy one and scrub this. As you can see now, I've completely uh, cleaned it and it's dry. So now let's move on to this part. So I'm just going to dip it in my soapy water and then I'm going to scrub it neatly. So um, this part is so the this part is quite long and big. So you might want to keep squeezing it, and also uh, the, the, these lines you can see always the dust and mud gets uh, stuck in those regions. So you can just um, roll it up neatly and scrub it. This part is the easiest to, to clean and the uh, mud will go easily. Make sure you do it well. Yeah, so now you can see that it's completely white and it's dried. Uh, so now you can also go on and do this part. Uh, you can, uh, but be sure not to get on the velcro. 
So what we are going to do is we are going to take it and this time it should be really dry. It cannot be wet because this is going to get damaged. So we are just going to nicely squeeze it and then we can just wipe the towel a bit. And then we are just going to scrub it from there in one direction. Okay and then immediately before going on to the next one we are going to dry it. We are going to wipe it neatly okay and it should be completely dry we should not let, let the water soak in because if it does your uh, pad your pad straps are going to get rotten if they're going to rot okay now i'm again just going to clean it and better if you just do it in um, the plain water instead of the actual uh, soapy water because too much soap will be too bad for this one just neatly one in one direction now we can just quickly wipe it and uh, just note that you cannot scrub this too much or too hard otherwise it's going to get damaged now you can see this one completely yellow and mud uh, brown I should say actually and this one and this one is completely white now let's do it for the last one okay uh, so now we have completely finished the first part I not record it uh, on the video but I've even done this part uh, it's the same as doing the straps so the buckles and also the buckles, um, you can just wipe the buckles neatly because it will be quite dirty. Uh, so now let's go on to the back part. It will be better to just um, you know, change your water. I have already changed it off camera. And also you can, uh, you know, you can uh, wash your scotch bright nicely once so that it will be easier for you to um, start again. Now, before starting on the back part, I have to tell you one very important thing. That is... The whole back part must be done with a very very uh, uh, damp damp scotch bright. This is because um, the back the back part may have cloth and spawn, so the water should not be absorbed by it. Otherwise, your pad uh, your cricket pad will rot. So now let's get started. So we we'll just take a bit of the um, we'll just take a bit of the soapy water, and then what we'll do is this part so we just going to squeeze it well and on this part we we'll start with this part uh, as you can see it's very dirty especially in the crevices so we're just going to take the scotch bride and see we're just going to wipe it neatly up and down and then here too just like that uh, okay, so now immediately before doing anything else, we are going to wipe it. We should not let it get absorbed as I told you. So as soon as you finish one part, you have to do this really quickly. You cannot uh, take your own time. So you have to just quickly do it, just scrub it neatly and then wipe it. Scrub it and wipe it, that's the routine for this. So it should be bone dry as soon as you finish, um, you know, uh, wiping it. Now this part is clean, let's go to the top part, here. So now you can see it's really really dirty. Now we'll just take a bit of the soapy water, squeeze it well, put in, put in a bit of the, uh, the clean water. So it's not too much soapy, it's not too soapy because we cannot wi wipe the soapy part that well here. And now we're just going to take it and quickly give it a quick scrub in the crevices and the top part, the actual thing. So, you can just do it like that. Quick. We can just wipe it and then So as, as you can see, I am wiping it very vigorously, 
wipe it until it's really dry it cannot be even damp so now as you can see it's not gone that well but then if it's completely dry then you can do it again but remember just follow the same routine and do not wet it too much hey guys so uh, i have scrubbed the whole thing off camera it's just the same thing just remember not to keep it too wet and immediately wipe it quickly it's okay uh, it's actually better if you just uh, if for this part and this part especially this part you can just um, uh, use your towel and just wipe it without water but it's okay if you can do it with water also just do not keep it too wet and wipe it immediately now my whole thing is qu quite dry um so now we have we are done with the cleaning uh, with the cleaning of the cricket pads so just in case uh, you can just keep this uh, keep both your pads after cleaning outside to dry for about 3 to 4 hours One, first like this then like this so 3 hours like this and 3 hours like this so now you have a new uh, good as new shiny new pad uh, so it looks as good as new please like subscribe and share and don't forget to um, enable your notifications so that you can be the first one to see my next videos keep cricketing